What's up, everyone? Today we're going to be taking a look at a seven-round Vortex tournament. I swept. It was the London's Finest Vortex Cup, and uh, London's Finest Vortex Cup is always stacked with amazing players. Uh, in this tournament, there were two elites and a bunch of aces, so really, really stacked. And I faced an amazing lineup of players. The lowest rated player I faced was actually Jake Does Hur Hurdles, and he is already amazing. <laughs> the other six are all from above here every single one of my opponents was in the top 200 on the silver leaderboards a four of them were in the top 100 and i even ended up, ended up facing the number one in the world at the time of, uh, of this tournament uh so yeah there's gonna be some amazing matches uh, but first uh, we're just gonna look at the meta for those that don't know vortex cup i won't go into it in all details but it's basically open great league uh, a bunch of meta Pokemon ba banned. You can see it in the bottom left. You know, if you like Umbreon, uh, Metacham, Altaria are banned. And also fairy types and legendaries are banned. So stuff like Azumarill, Cresselia, you're not gonna see. My team ended up being fairly meta. I'm bringing a common core of Frostless, Prybabe, Manibus, which you see on a, a lot of teams. But my Manibus does have a little twist. I'm bringing Air Slash uh, on it. Most run Snarl, pretty much all run Snarl, to be honest. And what I really like about Air Slash is that you win the mirror versus opposing Manibus. It's way stronger versus Primeape. You beat Zwilus. Uh, Air Slash Manibus is pretty much the only Zwilus Primeape uh, Manibus core breaker out there. Like the most reliable one. So that's why I really like it. Uh, the Frostlass and neutral matchups do become a little bit worse. But uh, you are able to farm stuff down easier. Which makes this a worthy trade-off in my opinion. Also, my team... On first sight, looks very weak to Primate, which I like. Because it gives people a false sense of security that they can, like, safe swap Primate. And then I have Manibuzz in the back, and I can surprise him with the Air Slash in, like, the first or second game. Uh, which really helped me this tournament. Then, as, a, as another very solid option, I have Quagsire. It's just a very good generalist in this meta. If there's no Grass type on the opposing team, uh, Quagsire is an amazing safe swap or closer. In the one shield, it does amazing versus most things, especially with energy. Uh, then I have Russell on my team as well, because it just kills Galvantula, Mendebus, Frostlass, Swilus, a decent against Hypno, kills Lapras, Chugong. It's just a really solid core breaker, especially if they only have a, a fighting type as an answer, which a lot of people well, teams do. They only have a fighting type or a Mud Boy as an answer. And then uh, Crystal just has a lot of targets. Uh, and then as kind of my wild card, I'm bringing Mew. And there is the reason uh, would serve a wild charge. The reason for Mew is there is one core in this meta that I really hate. It's the Probopass Hypno Primate core. That's a very rock, paper, scissors core. Uh, and it's solid. It's a solid core, but it's very rock, paper, scissors. It's very lead dependent core, in my opinion. I don't r like running into it at all. I don't like running it. And there's only one core breaker. A one reliable core breaker. And technically, Quagsire can do it too, but Quagsire loses in two shield to, to Hypno and, and uh, Primate. But Mew is the only one that can really reliably beat uh, all three in some shield scenarios or with energy advantage. That's why I brought it. I didn't end up facing any of those cores in this, this tournament, but Mew uh, still putting a lot of work. Anyway, that was the team. Let's head to game one. So. Benedict is running Nine Tails, Primeape, Lapras, Frostlass, uh, Mandibus, Dragonair. First thing I'm seeing, Crystal is really strong. Crystal beats Nine Tails, Lapras, Frostlass, and Mandibus. Uh, loses pretty hard to uh, to to Primeape, though. Uh, like Excisors and stuff still uh, do some damage. First thing I'm seeing, very weak to uh, to Crystal, which which I, which I like. And then it's also very weak to, to Ape. If it's a Snarl Mandibus, which most people run, Ape is gonna do amazing. Ape, uh, I think, loses to Ninetales in the ones, but if you can get some energy, it beats it. Uh, it beats Frost Slash in the two shields, and even in the ones or zeros, you do a lot of damage with Night Slash. Uh, it, it, it is very close versus Dragonair. It, of course, it's the mirror, it beats Lapras. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be running Ape as a safe swap. Because with energy, it does even better versus those things. And that Snarl Mandibuzz is just very good versus everything. Uh, but uh, probably Frostlass and Lapras. But the rest it can take out. So I'm going to lead uh, with, with the Mandibuzz here. Uh, with Ape as safe swap. And then with Grussel in the back. He leads with the Shadow Dragonair. Uh, which is good to see because Shadow Dragonair does uh, beat Grussel. 
uh, generally because the aqua tilt just hits so hard. I'm just gonna stay with my Mandy right here. Uh, go for the foul play. If I can get shield advantage or switch advantage, I'm fine. Uh, so that's just what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna no shield this move, expecting a aqua tail. I think going uh, for Dragon Pulse doesn't make uh, much sense here, but he is an absolute madman. Also, my no shield uh, goes for. Uh, the Dragon Pulse, and at this moment in time, I just regret all my life decisions. Uh, also, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. 1.5. Oh, in comes the... Oh my god. Right. Professional here. Professional here. Again, come on with Primate. I'm just gonna go farm this down. Again, this team is kind of pretty weak to, uh, to Primate. If I farm this down, get a bunch of energy, there's nothing that can really eat it. Even Menabuzz. Especially if it's Snarl Mana Buzz with this energy advantage, I can take it. He brings in Primeape, which is just amazing. Because since he brought in Primeape, uh, my Crustle should be able to beat whatever is in the back. I gotta say in here though, I need to get to two close combats. He gets the boost though, which makes it especially hard. Uh, now I can't get to two close combats. I got a nice chest bait here. I get the bait. I get off the close combat as well. Uh, this should KO the Primeape. And then whatever is in the back has to be weak to Crustle. And yeah, it is the Lapras. Uh, and I, I can survive a shield, uh, surf here and get off the rock slide to, to KO uh, this uh, Lapras. Yes, survive the surf just barely. If this was a shadow Lapras, I would have lost this actually. But uh, the surf from a regular uh, Lapras just doesn't do enough. GG. This game, let's lead Crustle. Because Crustle is just so strong versus this team. I'm going to go with the Ape Swap. I'm expecting he might go with, uh, with a Menabas counter. And the good thing is... All of his Menabus counters uh, lose to Crustle. He pretty much only has Frostlass and Lapras. They just lose to Crustle. So I'm going to lead to Crustle. Uh, hopefully pick one of those up. If it's not one of those, I'll swap to Primeape and uh, hopefully go. It's a, it's a Dinair, which is quite bad. But I'm just going to stay in here for a little bit. Chip him down. And with Crustle, I'll take a shield with the X-Scissor, hopefully. And after this, I'll swap into the ape. Uh, because again, ape just destroys. He doesn't shield though, which just gives me switch advantage, which, which I'm fine with. He goes into the ape, so I'll go into my own ape. I'm kind of expecting something weak against um, Russell on the back. Like a Lapras, like a Frostlass, which is quite tough. I'm just going to throw the Night Sash immediately. It's very obvious it's not a close combo. That's fine. I just want to wanna, uh, chip this down. Simultaneous KO here. It's quite nice. It is a Lepros. So I'm going to chip this down with Crustle. And hopefully I can get enough chip in here. Uh, where Mandibus can KO uh, the Lepros later. Which should be possible. Mandibus is such a tank. If I shoot this, I think I can get to another X-Scissor. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. And even if I don't get to the X-Scissor. Which I don't. I can still get to two foul plays. Probably. Look at this. He's gonna fire Skullbash? And this does nothing. Like, Manibus is just such a tank. Uh, Lapras, not really a Manibus counter. I think he even gets to another Surf right here. Uh, this doesn't KO. This doesn't KO. It's not even close. It's uh, it's just crazy. Uh, this thing is such a tank. I get to uh, two foul plays right here. And uh, we KO. Lapras, so that's a it's a, already a win in 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 round one. We're we're gonna look at the third game uh, as well. Uh, third game, I'm thinking, uh, you know, Ape is very strong. I'm just gonna go with Ape Frostlass Mandy. I think Frostlass has a lot of play with energy. Uh, I'm just gonna stay in with Ape, whatever it is, and it is a Lapras, uh, which is a very solid lead, of course. Thing is, he gets to a surf before I get to a close combat. Uh. So, and I'm, I will shield this because if I had no shields, like, uh, he can just shield farm down. He goes into his own primate. I go for the close combat just to get the shield uh, back. I have two things weak to lepers in the back though, which is quite tough. Also, I miss my swap there. He gets a counter in whilst I'm debuffed, which is quite tough. Goes for the close combat against my Mandy. I don't want to really want to play around here. Oh, I'm, no, I'm playing around. I think there's a night chest. I'm just gonna farm him down. I don't want much. I don't want us lepers to be able to, to be able to farm me down that much. He gets a boost there again. This guy's getting boosts all day, but luckily only when uh, when he's like low health. But kind of help me, I guess. 
I got off one foul play, but this Lepers has some energy again. I don't have much energy on Prime at, at all, but I'm gonna come in with it anyway. In hindsight, maybe I should have come into Lepers to, to just take a surf. I don't know, this thing is, uh, or Frost has to take a surf. This thing is very low now, hopefully in a range where I can farm it down with Frost has later. In comes the Dinar though, and look at, look at his Dragon Breath chunk. This is pretty insane. Shadow Dinar is very, very oppressive. I'm just hoping I can kill this thing with enough health left to where I can farm down the Lepras. Uh, but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be quite tough. Go for another avalanche, but I'm very, very low. Hopefully I can kill the Lepras with uh, some double or double not very effective powder snows. Uh, but I cannot. Uh, GG's. He came back from a pretty hard lead, so well played by him. Next round in the tournament, it's uh, me versus Jeroen, another another uh, Dutch player, a solid battler. I've battled him so much in the past, in Season 1 and Season 2. Uh, so it's going to be some good battles. Uh, his team, Ninetales, Primeape, Jugong, Hypno, Galvantula, Zwilus. Uh, this team, very weak to Crustle again. Crustle just breaks so many of these teams. He only has one answer, a Primeape. Uh, so if I double cover for Primeape, I'm good. He's also quite weak uh, to Quag. He really only has a Hypno. Well, he has nothing that really wants to take an Earthquake or a for Stone Edge, to be honest. So Quag is just a nice generous, though. Swilus uh, and Primeape usually do take that uh, matchup and Hypno as well. What do I bring here? Oh yeah, Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz also quite solid. It beats the Ninetales, Primeape, Hypno, Zwilus because I do have Air Slash, which really helps against this team. And then, yeah, Frostlass also, also really good. My thinking here is uh, I'm gonna go Frostlass lead here. And there's only one, there's only one thing that counters my Frostlass. That's the Ninetales. If it's Ninetales... I'm not expect if it's Ninetales in the lead, I'm not expecting Jugal or Galvantula in the back. Which are the which are the hard Mandibus counters, right? So I'm gonna use Mandibus as a safe swap. Uh if 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 I don't get the lead. That's that's the whole idea. Uh Frost has it the hypno, which is just a, a solid matchup, though confusions do hurt. Uh like in two shoot scenario. Uh this matchup is really, really close. Uh but I'm just gonna go straight Shadow Ball. I'm just gonna go straight Shadow Ball. If I can get two shields down, I'm fine with it as well. I think if I go straight Shadow Ball, I lose the two shield, but I'm okay with that because then I just, then I just kill it. Then I just kill him with Manibuzz and, and, and Crustle, hopefully, which do really well with uh, with shields. Yeah, I shoot this move. He goes straight for a Shadow Ball. Good shield by me. Uh, gonna go for another ball after farming up some energy and make sure to throw in the middle of his uh, of his confusion animation uh, to deny him any extra confusions but also to deny him a potential sacrificial swap i'm very low though i don't think i might not have made it to the shadow ball actually but he decides to swap it to private hoping to counter me down uh, but i get to the avalanche here which is just really good right here just gonna let, let my frost last go uh just so I'm not switch locked into anything. I can farm this down with Mandy. He doesn't get to any moves here. I still have two uh, Hypno counters in the back, basically. Though Russell is not really a Hypno counter, but Mandibus definitely destroys it. In comes the Zwilus, and both my Mandibus and Crystal de uh, just destroy this. Let's see if we speed it up. Uh, yeah, uh, this is just game over, to be honest. This uh, he, he made a team uh, double weak to Crustle. Uh And he didn't really save... Uh, uh, the Crustle answer, which was uh, just just solid uh, for for me. It's a best buddies wireless as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, in comes the Hypno again, and I'll be able to take this out with my Crustle or um, my Mandibus. Yeah, the Shadow Ball did, did hurt, so I'll, uh, my uh, my guy goes down, but I got uh, got Mandy here. I think I go for the Aerial Ace right here because I don't want to show I have um, I have foul play here, do I? Yeah, I was considering farming him down, but I go for the aerial ways right here. Because I don't want to show foul play. Because some Mandibus do run Dark Pulse, and... So, I want to hide the fact that I have foul play instead of Dark Pulse. That's why I threw aerial ways, but to be honest, I could have also just farmed down. I think he sees... He sees that Air Slash Mandibus is an issue. That's what, what I was talking about. He ran... What did he run again? Primeape? 
Hypnos Wireless. Zero air slash mana bus counters. Right? Because he was probably expecting Snarl. Uh, with Snarl, Zwilus and Primeape would be able to beat it. So that makes a lot of sense. And he also brought Primeape as a safe swap. Uh, because without air slash mana bus, my team doesn't have anything for Primeape as, as safe swap. So this time I'm, I am expecting, I'm expecting him to bring um, Jugong or Galvantula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead Mendebuzz because I'm uh, I'm not expecting him to uh, to lead something strong as Mendebuzz being afraid of the Crustle. And I'm going to bring Galv as a, as a swap because or Galv uh, Quag as a swap because it's strong as Galv and Jugong and have Frostlass in the back because it just destroys uh, with shields and energy advantage or, or shield advantage. So let's just go in. Mendebuzz into Ape. Pick up a, a really solid lead. This is exactly what I want to see. He comes the Hypno. Yeah, he... Uh, I just caught him in the lead there. Uh, he led uh, Prime Ape into my Mandy and he has to sacrifice Hypno now to uh, to save it pretty much. I think I think uh, he's still thinking I've crossed on the back just because it's so, so strong. Uh... That's why he's saving the Prime Ape. I think if I didn't have Crustle, we would have probably stayed into the Prime Ape. Because it's still a better matchup than Hypno versus Mandy. Uh, but he's kind of forced to, to, to save his Prime Ape for my Crustle, uh, I guess. He just goes for the Ice Punches here, but they, they don't do much. He even shoot it. Uh, but uh, yeah, Mandy just doesn't care. I'm going to be able to farm this down now after I shield. And I'll have a bunch of energy for whatever's in the back. Which I'm thinking is either Jugong or Galf, which both my Hypno and Frostlass will be able to deal with. It's just Jugong. I'm just gonna go into Quag. Because uh, it is a, both Frostlass and, and Quag can deal with a Jugong, especially if Shields are down. Though, if Shields are down, Frostlass is a little better. Uh, or But Shields up, Quag is a little better than Frost, so that's why I switch it in now. And even if he swaps into the Primeape like he does, uh, Quack will be able to get to two Earthquakes if he tries to farm me down, which he does. I'll get to another Earthquake. I still have my Frost last left. I still have my Mandy Buzz left with a move. Uh, he's going to be able to farm me down though, which is kind of painful. Because he'll be able to debuff uh, one of my Pokemon. But I still have I still have uh, Mandy Buzz in the back here. Even if he does debuff me, I can swap out uh, and clear it. But he does go for the Water Pulse. I think that's his only play. Uh, but Water Pulse, just such a weak move. Doesn't do anything. I go for the Shadow Ball here. This should put him in a range where Foul Play will KO. I'm kind of not sure what to do here. But I end up uh, swapping into an Icy Wind. Uh, <laughs> which is not great. I should have maybe just swapped immediately and Foul Played. But I can just Shield. Uh, throw the Foul Play. Uh, even Debuff, this should come close to KOing. You can see that did nothing. Uh, but I uh, KO with an Air Slash. It's a good game. Sorry, 2-0 this set. Uh, but we're just gonna go into the uh, into the third uh, game. This is where I decide to bring Mew. I think he's kind of scared. Uh, I, I'm not expecting him to bring uh, the Zwilus because uh, all three games, all three games, I brought like three strong Pokemon against Zwilus. So I'm not expecting him to bring it. So I go double weak against Zwilus in the back uh, with Russell in the lead, and he leads the Zwilus. So I get really lucky. I honestly get really lucky here because I wasn't expecting him to uh, bring this wireless, but he did bring it, and I haven't locked into, into against my strongest Pokemon against the wireless, so pretty happy about that. I'm just gonna fire a uh, an X Scissor, and at this point, is this is his strongest Mew counter. If I get Shield Advantage with Mew, I'm very good with that because wireless is out of the way. Uh, but he, uh, so I just let it go. Even if it's Dark Pulse, it's fine. But he throws Body, sl body Slam even better. He's gonna have to shield if he wants Switch, uh, which she does. Uh, and now he does have energy on his Wireless, uh, but it's gonna go nowhere. Uh, Manibus can tank his Body Slams easy. And again, Mew with Shield Advantage is good against everything in his team. Even the Galv can't deal with Mew with Shield Advantage. So I'm just gonna no shield these moves. Uh, Mew will be able to clean up. Even Mandibus will be able to clean up. Or whatever it is. What does he have in the back? If it's Galf, I'm still gonna be in a tough spot. It's Jugong. I'll just go for uh, for the foul play right here, uh, and then we're gonna swap into Mew. This should be Wild Charge range. For the note, is he only threw one Wild Charge or one Ice Shard, so it's four more to the Icy Wind, which is uh, six Shadow Claws, which is enough to get to the Wild Charge right there. So we CMP tie. 
Uh, and then this is just over. I have I still have Mana Buzz in the back, and Mew just cleans up. So that is uh, a good game. I just got him on the team comps there. Uh, but uh, Jeroen actually ended up going 6 1. He only ended up losing to me, so he did he did really well. He did really well. Boy, GG. GG. Next match is versus Jake Adas Hurdles. Very good player. He has a pretty crazy team. Melmodel, Lapras, Wishcash, Nine Tails, Shadow Hypno, Primeape. All right, Hypno, Melmodel Core. Almost pro pass, almost pro pass, but not as toxic. Melmodel, I can actually beat, kind of beat with Mandibus, you know. But still, it's kind of a, kind of a difficult team. But Mew shines here. Surf, Wild Charge, Mew. Beats Ninetales, beats Hypno. I wouldn't say it beats Primeape, to be honest. The, the, the matchup between Primeape and Mew is kind of close, but it's very close, you know? I would say it beats it. If you have uh, energy advantage, it definitely beats it. Uh, Lepros, you can beat it. It's kind of bait dependent, but you can beat it. Wishcash, close. Memodal, close. Mew, insane here we're gonna see some mew action that's what i can tell you also waxire waxire beats melmodel beats nine tails uh, gets close to wishcash uh, leprous is kind of even it wins the zeros uh then uh, hypno kind of even depending on moveset waxire definitely coming mandy uh ash dash mandy beats primate beats hypno beats nine tails uh close to wishcash uh you know, even Melmodel and Lapras don't really want to take foul play. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lead Quag. And I'm going to bring two. 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 Two primary monsters in the back. With Mew as safe swap. Manibus in the back. Because Mew safe swap is just insane. It's not my birthday. But. You guys want it to be my birthday? We can change my birthday. I don't care. But yeah, Mew, Mew safe swap is one we're gonna be using because it's just OP. I lead Wag into Lapras, which is fine. This is a fine matchup for Wag. And again, wait, I forget to speed it up once more. All right, here we go. Sped up now. Wag into Lapras is a fine matchup. I win zeros. Yo, another Monday anniversary. Yo. Thank you for the sub, Poodle. But yeah, it's a fine matchup. He has to shield one. I win the zeros. I lose the ones, though, but I bring him really low. If I can just... Uh, if I can just bring this down low enough to where I can farm down uh, the, the Lapras with Mew, I'll be fine. Also, he leads Lapras. There's zero chance he has Melmodel on the back. So, without Melmodel, with Lapras off the table, and without Melmodel on the back... And the bus is doing, gonna do uh, insane. The reason why I don't think he has Melmodel on the back is because then he just gets destroyed by Primeape Lead. Like, he, he will have zero chance against Primeape Lead, right? So, he's not gonna have Melmodel on the back. So, I think I'm really good here. I just come, come in with Mew, farm him down, and what do you know? Brings in a Melmodel, like a freaking madman. So, I gotta take this out with Mew. I'm very happy he brought that out. But now he makes a pretty good swap into Wishcash, catching my Surf. I think he was hoping to catch Flame Charge, uh, but he doesn't. I'll farm up to a, to a Wild Charge and swap into Mandy. Uh, yeah, Blizzard does do a bunch of damage, but I'll, I'll no-shoot it. I think I just got a save shield for Mew now, and I can farm up here a little more. Uh, he actually throws Mud Bomb here, so I don't have to shield this. And this is quite good for me because I can just farm up more now. And uh, then throw his foul play. Fire him down. I'll have a foul play on the Melmodel, which is um, which is which is quite nice. That's some good chip. After this foul play, uh, surf should KO. And I'm already at a surf and a little bit of energy. And the Melmodel needs like three rock slides uh, uh, to KO my Mew. Does it still have a shield? So I should be in a decent sp spot right here. Yeah. Jay, bringing Lapras, Wishcash, Melmodel. Crazy call by him. Like if I if I had brought Primate, this match I would have been able to sweep his team with one Pokemon, but I didn't. So he made a good call. Almost worked out for him, but the Mew was just too strong. Uh, for the second game, you know, I know this guy is a good player. I'm thinking 
He's baiting me into bringing Primate. He's baiting me into bringing Primate. He's gonna bring Hypno. He's gonna bring Hypno. Right? He's gonna bring Hypno. His own Primate. Maybe Wishcash. Uh, you know what d does well against those? A Mandy, Mew, and Quagsire. So that's what I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna lead the Mandy. Uh, because he's he, he's gonna he's gonna bring Hypno. He's gonna bring Hypno Primate. Because that's that's are his best answers for, for Primate. You know? So that's what I do. I, I, I lead Mandy. Mew safe swap again. I have Quag in the back. He leads freaking Lapras. Like a like a maniac. This guy is like a thousand IQ. Uh does have Primate though. Uh and I kind of want to have switch here. Because I because I have energy advantage, I'm, I'm sure gonna get switch here. Unless he boosts. No, I don't think boost even matters. But I have energy advantage here. Uh I outpace him now to the serves because we have a similar rhythm, but uh, because I have one Shadow Claw more, I should be able to outpace. Uh, I want to expand on another shield though, because uh, this Night Slash would either come close to KO or KO me. Another Night Slash. I just farm this down. Whatever it is, it's gonna. It's a freaking Wish Cash. Didn't even bring the Hypno. Again, another line. If I brought my Primate in the lead, honestly, this game would have been over. I don't know, this guy is, has like five more heads than me because this is just crazy. He's just out predicting my line, but again, um, the Mew is just so strong for him that it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, it's still gonna be close though. He still has a Lapras. Shields down Quack doesn't do great. Shields down Quack doesn't do great versus Lapras. And I have Mandibus, which also doesn't like Lapras. So this is gonna be real close. The the the, 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 the wish cash might even be able to get to a blizzard versus Mandy. Uh, yeah, this is not looking that great. He's gonna go for the school bash right here, which is a pretty smart move. Because now uh, I'm gonna get off a stone edge anyway. Even if he double shield, double serves, I would be able to get to the stone edge. Uh, but his defense would not been uh, uh, higher. So pretty good move. Because now I also can't really farm this down with Mandy. Or can I? Mandy is a freaking tank. This skull badge does, not, does nothing. I can farm this all the way down. He, he brings a wish cash because he knows what's coming. I was just gonna farm him down. And he, he needs to try to get to like a mud bob or a blizzard at least. He doesn't. Uh, now Mandy comes in. In comes the surf. But Mandy. Mandy don't care. Alright. Mandy just doesn't care. Eats the surf. Take down the leprous. This was just a Mandy bus showcase, I think. So strong. Mew as well. Put in the work. Uh, this guy, like I said, this guy has five more heads than me. He's way smarter. Uh, he knew I, he knew I wasn't gonna bring a primate. Uh, so this time I'm thinking he's definitely bringing Hypno. 100% sure. I'm gonna bring uh, Mandibuzz again, but just in case, just in case he is crazy again and doesn't bring a. Uh, Ape counter. I'm bringing the ape again. Uh, no, not again. I'm bringing the ape for the first time. Oh, it was a spoiler. I'm going to bring the ape for the first time, just in case. It's not... He brings Leprous Melmodel again, alright? Alright, Prime Ape lead. Very good. And he brings in the Hypno. I love it. He taught me. Um, he was hoping to lure out. This is pretty much a sacrifice. Honestly, I just have a hard counter in the lead here. Uh, he was hoping... I'd swap into Mew here. He was expecting me to bring the Mew. Uh, so he's hoping to, to lure out the Mew with uh, Hypno. But I just stay in. Because I, I don't even have Mew. Even if, if I had Mew, I would have stayed in. Because Mandy gets to two foul plays here. I just still have a bunch of health. He blinks in the Lapras. I'm just gonna go to Ape. His switch timer uh, is, is not, not even up. Uh, so my Ape is gonna do so much damage. Self whack in the back as well. And uh, yeah, this should be pretty much game over. So yeah, this guy, uh, this guy just, I don't know. First two games were pretty crazy. Uh, him not bringing any ape counters. Uh, this game, he did try to uh, bring the ape counters, but uh, luckily I have it aligned for us, the Lepers. Comes the ape again. Uh, I can't get to close combat, so I'm going to go for the Night Slash. And uh, yeah, should be game over because I still have Mana Bus, I still have Quag. I'm actually not gonna come into the Mandibus right here because it does have a bunch of energy. I want him to waste his energy on Quag, but to be honest, this is... I don't know. I didn't have to do this. I could have just finished it with Mandy. 
Uh, but if I can earthquake this, that's fine with me as well. I'm gonna let this one go uh, too. And come in with the Mandy now to farm uh, down. Yeah, that's uh, another 3 0 uh, GG. Next game uh, V Tenacity. I've never played V Tenacity, but I've heard a lot about V Tenacity. He's like uh, one of the best players from uh, the UK. I think he's ranked number one in the UK. He's like the, and this was a UK tournament, so he is like the guy to beat. So I was pretty excited for this match. Spring, Nine Tails, Prime Ape, Hypno, Leprous, Galvantula, Zwilus, very tough team. He has uh, an answer to pretty much everything uh, I have. But Crustle was very, very, very strong. Uh, Crustle beats five out of six uh, of his team. Like everything except uh, Prime Ape. Uh, pretty much though it doesn't really beat shadow lepros i think it only beats shadow lepros in the twos though at the, at the time of this match i didn't know shadow lepros beat Crustle. to be honest i i was under the impression that Crustle beat shadow lepros when i played this but i looked it up later and shadow lepros actually beats uh, Crustle in the zeros and ones uh, it's good to know uh, not in the twos though so yeah it's not that great also the hypno matchup is not that great but it's it's decent enough uh, beats Nitos, of course. Uh, beats Wireless uh, generally. Prime is an issue. Uh, so I'm kind of expecting him to lead Primeape because it's only Crustle match uh, answer. So I'm gonna lead. But oh, this is not the first match. This is not the. No, no, no. I'm lying. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lead. I'm not even gonna lead Mandy. No, no. I'm lying. I'm actually gonna lead. Uh, I'm gonna lead Crustle because his team is very weak against. So I'm gonna lead Crustle. Just because I'm not expecting the. I'm not really expecting the Primeape. And if he if he does lead Primeape, I'll bring Frostlass and Mandibus as swaps. Both both can be used as a swap, uh, and both are pretty strong. He leads the Galv. He leads the Galv, which is just very solid for me. Uh, Frostle does beat it. Brings in the the Primeape. This is kind of what I was expecting. This is what I told said, said to you guys at the beginning. People like to bring Primeape safe swap against my team. Because Snarl Mandibus doesn't beat Primate, but Air Slash does. I can just farm this down now, but I, I, I don't. I don't want to take the risk. I just go straight for it. I don't want to. But he does shield. Does shield. This is a Night Slash, right? I shoot it anyway. Shoot it anyway. It is a close combat. All right. Uh, I was more big brain two days ago than I am now. I shoot the good move. Very nice. Probably brings in the Galv again to farm down, which is kind of uncomfortable, but I could do get to another uh, another foul play. Take it out. Takes me out. I'm going to Crustle again. I think whatever he has in the back, it's weak against Crustle. It's likely... I'm not expecting it to be the Nightles, to be honest. So it should be decent for Frostlass as well. I'm going to chip him down with some debuff smackdowns. Even though the smackdowns were debuffed, they still do a bunch of damage versus Lapras. I'll swap into Frost right now. Uh, Shadow Ball will kill from this range because it's a Shadow Lapras. Shadow Ball just hits so hard. It's so hard. Shoot at the Surf. He gets another Surf. And this is kind of scary because this put me, puts me a farm down range for Galv. Uh, almost. So I'm gonna farm up right here. I can farm up like a bunch of uh, Powder Snows. I'm now almost at two uh, Avalanches. So I'm just gonna throw this... Uh, Shadow Ball, one Powder Snow, take out the Galf. That's a good game. Just a very solid uh, lineup there. GG. Next match. This time, I'm expecting him to fear the Crustle. Uh, I'm thinking he's going to lead Primate. I'll lead Mandy. And I'll have, uh, I think, Frostlass. Or nay, no, Quack. Quack is just a very good swap against his team. So I'm going to bring that as well. I get a lead, though. He goes into Lapras. Again, this thing, uh, this thing beats... Uh, Crustle. So this is actually a really good save swap. I didn't even realize this during the battle. But uh, again, uh, Crystal just beats it if I uh, shoot stuff. Yeah, we get a little bit of lag here, but uh, it didn't matter. It was just some delay on the charge move. We have the X-Scissor. Uh, he throws another Surf. I'll shield it. I just want to switch here. I don't want to like, wag uh, lined up versus the My Prime Ed, to be honest, because I am expecting something weak to uh, wag in the back. And something strong against Mandy. I think it's just bringing like an ABB team with two things strong as Mandy in the back. Don't really want uh, to lose switch. 
I can get off two extras. This is why I prefer Crustle over Robo Pass because Crustle can get to multiple moves against the Primeape. And look at this, Primeape is already almost dead. In comes this Wireless. This is this is kind of rough because he does have a shield advantage. Uh, I do have a full health Wag, uh, but it also doesn't really like to see his Wireless. But I'm gonna bring it in now because uh, he does have a he does have a shield move. He does have to shield a move from my uh, from my Quag. I was hoping he can't farm me down, but even if he can farm me down. All the stems don't do too much versus many bus. And he no shoots this, which I thought was kind of weird. But I think he ho he's hoping to get the two uh two close combats here, but I get my SS through and this should KO. One one close combat doesn't KO. And I just take this match. GG. I think if he shielded this Vilas, he might have a he might have had a shot. But I think if he shielded this Vilas, I would have been able to farm it down with Mandy and just air slash the prime. So I think he was done either way. Anyway, next game. Uh, I'm bringing bring the ape lead this time because I am thinking I am thinking he's either gonna lead ape or Zwilus or Ninetales. Not expecting the gal because I, I've been pretty pretty strong against it. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. If he brings the gal, I'm not expecting Ninetales in the back, so use Frost as a safe swap. Uh, he does bring the, the Primeape in the lead, though. Uh, I want to save my Primeape just in case there's a Lapras. So I'll just fire one close combat here and swap into Frost. Hopefully lure out the Lapras, which does come out, which is very good for me. It's very good for me. Let's go straight for the Shadow Ball. I think he shoots this because uh, he wants to... Oh, no, he doesn't shoot this. It's fine with me. I also know. Oh, a shield! Interesting. And now I should I should get to another Shadow Ball, which he does decide to shield. And now at this point I'm fine with this. Uh, it probably does have another uh, Frost Slash answer or uh, another Manibus answer in the back, but with a shield advantage, Manibus can take it. I go for the Evidence right here because he had a Surf ready, and I if I went for a Shadow Ball, he might have thrown his Surf. But he decides to overfarm, which is a really good play. I don't want to wait. Let me just roll that back. This is an important play. This Avalanche doesn't kill. He has a Surf ready. If he farms down my Frostlass, he's gonna fire a Surf at my Primeape uh, to take it out. But what I decide to do instead is swap my Primeape to take it out before it can get off the Surf. Take it out. He loses all that energy. In comes the Primeape. Uh, at this point, I just let my own prime, prime ape go. I think Mandibus with a shield advantage can take out everything. It does get a, a boost though, which is kind of painful. But he doesn't get to another move. And it's as wild as in the back. Uh, and I just win. I just win this uh, with a shield advantage. Even zero shields. Without a shield, I would have won versus Wireless. So this is another good reason for a air slash Mandy. Let's go. GG. I'm just gonna play this out though. But yeah, he's just gonna fire this, these body slams. I can take another one. I think I'll just take this because I I lost track of Prime Ape's energy to be honest, just in case he had a close combat or something. You know. I wanna sh shoot that instead. Oh, and he does have a move. Yeah, he does have a move. And I shoot it. It's Night Slash. But at this point, he's not gonna get to another move and take him out. GG! So we 3 0 uh, in a round. Four. All right, so that was only the four rounds. I am 4 out, but the video was already 40 minutes long, so I'm cutting this up into two parts. You just watch the first one. The second one will be coming tomorrow with the final three rounds. I will be facing some amazing players there, including the uh, number one player on the global silver leaderboards at the time of the tournament. So there's going to be some hype matches. Uh, stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.